Alright folks, welcome back to the Don's channel. I am the Don Father and I'm about to do a request now for a brand new channel patron of ours, Taco from Georgia and the United States of America and they have requested Airborne Ranger Infantry Lyrics by Christy Lee Cook. Um, the link that you sent for the original video for some reason is blocked from viewers in my country. It makes no sense to me, um, considering we're allies here in the UK. So I don't know what images are available on the original video that they don't want us to see here, but that's just the way it is. So I've downloaded the song, um, but in a different video. I hope you'll like it anyway. The link to their, this video then will be in the description section below. So will their Patreon account. If you'd like a personalised video request and shout out, please check that out as well. Or simply join the channel as a member and get your request through that way. Also, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment and share and put the bell on. And also, subscribe to us on Rumble where it's The Don's channel, which is all one word. Thank you very much. Anyway then, no more talking. Let's go! <laughs> My daddy was a soldier in a foreign but he doesn't like to talk about it anymore He kept a picture of my mama right by his heart He gave it one last look before the fighting would start He said all I ask is that you don't forget Cause the war's not over when the fighting ends There's a problem Airborne Ranger Infantry I left my best friend lying in a pool of blood While I crawled away through the brush and mud If I could choose to go back again I'd die lying there next to him There's a part of me that will always be Just a boy in a hole with an M16 Airborne Ranger Infantry Brothers who died right next to me And all we ask is that you don't forget Cause the war's not over when the fighting ends There's a part of us that will always be Just boys in a hole with our M16 on its souls and memories Airborne Ranger Infantry Wow, that 
is the end of the song and that hit me right <laughs> in the heart. Um, phew, quite an accurate song as well. Um, well, the line that says he didn't do it for the money or the fame, well, that goes without saying because if you join the military you're going to get neither. Um, you don't do it to get uh, be a hero either, to get to have your people remember your name. You're doing it for your country, you're doing it for your family, for freedom, etc. All the things that you hold closest and dearest to your heart. Um, the image where he's kissing the helmet on top of the M16, woof. Wow, well, um, and the bit where he says, when I leave here, a part of me will never come back the same, basically. Um, the, the war doesn't stop, I'll still be fighting it in my head internally. This is exactly um, what I'm pushing on this channel right now. PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder, for that's been... Um, developed since being deployed in conflict zones around the world um, and other combat stress related issues such as depression, stress, anxiety um, all these things are sort of manifest, can manifest also from the PTSD these are symptoms of PTSD as well but you might not actually have PTSD but you might have um, mental health, health, combat stress related issues because of your deployment um, in a conflict zone serving your country and on that note I'm actually selling merchandise you for to raise money for US veterans um, who have fought in Iraq, Afghanistan, Vietnam etc and still struggle with these mental scares of war, still fighting the war even though the war is over they're still fighting the battle. Um, US veterans um, and UK veterans actually um, I'm selling merchandise, there's a, a a pretty nice logo now that's been designed for the merchandise um, and all proceeds from that we're going to be donating to charities that work on the front line helping our veterans um, who are struggling with these conditions that I have just mentioned so please check it out in the description section below. Uh, if you can afford to do so and buy the stuff. As I said, proceeds are going to charities, helping on the front line. I haven't at this point yet um, decided what charities directly I'm going to be donating to, but at this point, please purchase the merchandise. It is going to help um, veterans. I am a veteran myself, so it's something that's really important to me personally, um, and I feel that I'm in a good position um, to be able to help uh, have I experienced mental health problems? Yes. Um, do I understand it? Yes. Um, have I heard stories similar to what that song's um, saying where you're, you you see people after? Yes. Uh, people with PTSD? Yes. So this is definitely something very close to my heart. Uh, it means an awful lot and I do want to do anything I can. I'm fit and able to do so uh, and based on that, uh, that's why I'm doing it. So that's just a little bit of a background story. I did serve my country in Iraq as well, so um, yeah, I don't want to go too much into it at this point, but the song was stunning. Our vocals were incredible, the words were on point. Um, the video, of course, wasn't the original video, but it was fantastic of the Airborne Ranger Infantry. Uh, I love the images of them. Uh, they were up in the the well we would have had Hercules but you would all go in and you were flying in Iraq um, ready to go all in big rows like that there it was great to see that image of them I can remember that very very well flying in when you're going in together they are noisy bastards let me tell you they are so noisy they plunge you have to wear ear defense as you're flying in when you're flying at the dead of night so they can't really see you going in um, there'll be no lights on you're going in um, tactically if you like um, but yeah, great images of them. Of course, there was training. I don't know if you've seen the yellow attachment at the end of the rifle. That's for blank firing rounds because uh, the carbon still comes down the barrel and it can actually pierce your skin a little bit, the little shards of carbon that come off the blank rounds. It's actually happened to me before because the sniper rifles um, didn't have an attachment on them and when they were fired, 
<laughs> a friend of mine accidentally did it because we were using the Tez kit, but he just accidentally turned around and some of it just went into my hand and peppered my hand and my hands was just like all little bits of blood all coming down. So that's all the yellow attachments are on the rifle, it's for training purposes and when you're firing blank rounds, um, it's just to eliminate that carbon, that little shards of carbon coming down the barrel and, and eat you like that anyway. So that's the idea of it, um, but the photo of him kissing the helmet, we've had things like that there where we've lost friends, um, brothers in uh, Iraq, both tours, um, our battalion did, we lost men on, I actually lost, we weren't, I wasn't in Afghanistan, I left just before that, but lost uh, um, members of the regiment as well in Afghanistan, so they're gone but never forgotten, and that little tribute of the helmet and the rifle is an American one, but uh, we did tribute similar as well for our fallen uh, brothers in arms. Um, so it's definitely something that um, means something personally to me as well. So uh, as I say, please check out the merchandise. There is going to be UK ones, there is going to be US ones, and there's also going to be a universal one without flags on it if you don't want one with a flag. Um, and I'll be donating um, the money to charities once I do a little bit more of my homework on it. I know there's charities out there that take 90% of the royalties and give 10% to helping which I'm going to try and avoid. That's no good to me. Um, I want more to be going in not to staff wages but helping helping veterans, helping their families um, directly um, and that's why I want to do a little bit of homework before I commit myself to one in particular charity or two in particular charities. There's been quite a few suggestions so um, that's good to see. So keep them coming if you've got suggestions for good charities that don't use most of the money raised um, to pay staff wages etc. More of it's going into um, and I know it's difficult for them, they're not government funded, they're doing the best they can do but I would rather find one that um, most of it's going into helping rather than into the wages and taking away from the funding as such for the help. Anyway, that's everything. Thanks so much for watching. The link to that original video will be in the description section below. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment and share and put the bell on. If you'd like a personalised video request and shout out, please check out our Patreon account that will be there also. And you, or you can simply join the channel as a member and get your requests through that way. Thanks very much for watching everyone. I am the Dawn Father and I'll see you all soon. Goodbye.